perfect streaming. You're a perfect streamer. How, ex how exciting. <laughs> All right, let's see what we're doing. How's everyone doing? All right. Oops. Hello, everybody. Getting Facebook going so I can see your comments. Here, you do that. I have it right here. How's everyone's Friday going? We've got a few people. We're going to give it just a minute until we uh, get a couple more people on here. Hi, Miss Lori. You can tell me when people come in. All right. Uh, it's uh, from the archives day, so we're going to take a look through some of the things that I've been um, finding this week as I've been going through uh, the City Museum's materials. Yeah, you're doing great. Oh, is that? I don't. Oh, that's fine. Um, great. Well, let's see. We... Yeah. We're good. I think we're gonna get get, get started here. Uh, thanks all for thanks to everybody for watching. Uh, I'm Maria Castley. I'm the uh, chief archivist and tours manager at City Museum. Uh, we've been doing a series. Oh, and this is Max Castley. Hello. He's a uh, my husband and producer and owner of Beat New Pops uh, on the third floor of City Museum. We, as I mentioned before, we've been taking the week, uh, every Friday I've been going through some of the photos and materials of from City Museum and to catalog and organize them and also to write the history posts. So every Friday I've been, um, been showing, sharing with you guys some of the things that we've been finding. And actually, uh, Gail Castley, a co-founder of the museum, she dropped this off for us. Uh, the other day. This is, uh, if any of you have seen Turtle Park, this is a recent photo from there with Turtle Park, one of the turtles. Somebody put a, a mask on them, which I thought was very sweet and responsible. There's also stuff on it that says don't, don't climb. Yeah, and also like don't climb. So yeah, don't, don't come visit that yet. Uh, one of the other, uh, resources that I've been going through is we have from Jean Steck. She's one of the original um, people at the museum. She has been, she had kept and she graciously gave us these binders of news articles about the city museum. And there's a whole bunch of these. Uh, this is one of them. And they're all full. This one's from 1994 through 1998. Is your cousin watching yet, Max? I don't think so. No, oh, okay. Well, if he does, I've got a photo for him. Oh boy, but, do you have a photo for him? I know. Oh, thank you. Uh, so they all have, uh, it's all pages. This is, oops. I'll get this. Uh, like, like this one, this is an article about uh, Sharon Von Senden. She's from, she was from Venice Cafe. She had been working there. And then she worked at oh. the... Uh, then she, we, they brought her on at City Museum to help help finish some uh, continue finishing some of the mosaics. Uh, they are correct that she is a tile laying machine. Um, so it's got some articles like that and articles like this that are <laughs> that are about the different exhibitions. Uh, the museum originally would have different exhibitions from other artists. Uh, we've had, we've gotten back to that a little bit in the re in recent years, but this is, these are some of the early ones. And a good shot of the mantis. 
which is, as, as some of you may know, now on the rooftop. Oh, oh my mom says hi. Hi, mom. <laughs> she also works with us at Beatnik Bobs. She's head beatnik. She is the head beatnik, even though she doesn't admit it sometimes. Um, all right. Well, so, yeah, we had the, the turtle. We will continue to go through. So you'll probably see some of those articles popping up in some of the museum history posts that we've been putting out Monday through Friday. Uh, it's a great resource for material. A lot of people don't necessarily remember things the same way. So some of the people that even though they've been there since the beginning, people remember things differently. So it's helpful to have something to check your work. Um, all right, so let's do some of the photos. Uh, we'll do a little slideshow from some of the images that I've pulled for this week. Uh, I'm going to start with, on Wednesday, somebody had asked about the serpent blueprint. So I pulled that, and then I had taken a couple other photos from some of the museum's blueprints. So it is on my phone, so they're not the best photos ever. But I'll take better ones once we get back. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can switch over. There we go. All right, so this is the serpent blueprint. This uh, serpent was one of the first things that was built at City Museum. Uh, they completed that to kind of show people, establish themselves as, uh, you know, as their own space and to kind of give people an idea of what they had going on and what they had going on inside. So this is one of the first things that was built and it's been there ever since. This to me, and I asked Max about it, we'll have to ask people who know more than we do. Um, this looks like it's the... It's the stairs. Yeah, the, the main staircase that was originally there. Uh, it was since replaced by... No, no. Hmm? It was just the stairs for uh, what you would call it. That's the uh, hospital steps. It's the blueprints for them. Oh, nice. The only thing that changed was they put the rollers there. Oh, okay. So yeah, these are, uh, this is for the staircase, the, the city hospital staircase was originally, or were the, are the steps that are there right now. So these are the, the blueprint for the stairs that they were putting in. Originally they didn't have, um, not pictured in here are the roller slide, ban the roller banisters. So things change all the time there, if that wasn't abundantly clear by every visit you've had there. Uh, this is for the first floor with the whale. Let's see, this one doesn't look like it's got a date on it, but some of them do. Um, so yeah, you can see the whale was there from the beginning. Um, there's the aquarium and the gift shop. And then we'll go up to the second floor. This is on the, uh, this is just, this is pretty early on. This is a uh, sketches for the aquarium. So these are some ideas that they had for this, for the space. Not all, I think the shark tank, uh, and some of the stingray tanks ended up staying there and then other stuff got moved. Like, I don't think there, was there ever a boat float there? Yeah. There was for a little while. That's what the Missouri stream is. Nice. What's this on too? I'm not paying attention to this. He doesn't know what's happening. Then here's another um, another blueprint. This one's of the roof, of the rooftop, the Ferris wheel on the roof. This is a more recent one. This one's from 2009. All right. And then going way back, uh, we the City Museum used to have a glass blowing studio. Some of you may remember. And if you guys have any questions about these as we go through, uh, just put them in the comments and we'll, I'll check them. Um, so yeah, this is a glass blowing studio. They, it is no longer there. It was there for several years. It was there right when they first started. <laughs> they said they thought they were hallucinating when they saw the, uh, <laughs> the serpent fence at the first. I'm sure. And a lot of people feel like that when they walk into the museum too, I would fully expect. This is a close-up. This is uh, Greg Kramer. He did demonstrations at the glass blowing factory for, at the museum. He would come in later too uh, and just have like a mobile glass blowing station that he would he would use. 
and he's also a teacher, I believe, in the St. Louis area. He, oh, he was Max's teacher at Clayton. At Clayton. Nice. So this is a super old photo of of Bob Cassidy with his first wife, I believe. Yeah, Cece. Uh, Cece. Cece. Yeah. yeah. And uh, this is, I found this while I was going through some newspaper articles, so I wanted to share that with you guys. This is a photo of Marion. Uh, she... She's been there a long time. She does a uh, kirigami. It's like origami, but you used to you cut out, cut it out, and that's how you make the snowflake. She's our resident snowflake lady. Um, she also sells a lot of books in the gift shop, so you can take them home and do them yourselves. So, and she also tells stories while <laughs> while she's teaching kids how to make snowflakes. This is uh, Tim. He's Max's cousin, and he was a. Uh, had numerous jobs throughout the museum. Um, I don't know if he's watching right now. He'll probably watch it later if he's not. Uh, so we've got this photo of him uh, repairing the tiny train that kids can ride. It goes around on the third floor. This is uh, Scotty. What's his actual full name? Uh, J. Watson Scott. J. Watson Scott. He... <laughs> He's wearing one of my favorite shirts that they've made in the gift shop, which I, I love, the Get Lost shirt. He has since retired, but it's a big part of the City Museum. This is Katie Gravy. <laughs> she worked there for a while. She submitted this standing in front of the, um, you know, world Yay. famous, we'll say, <laughs> world famous uh, giant underpants and beatnik bobs. They're not, yes? Yeah, she lives in our neighborhood, I think. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she works for Landmarks right now. My mom wants to know if your dad collaborated with the crew for the blueprints. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There were certain things you'd have to get blueprints for in order to put them up, so... I think the... He probably made them and then had the blueprints made. It... <laughs> We're we're not admitting that though. Uh, he, uh, I think it was only blueprints when necessary. Kind of seems like, from what I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is one of the pterodactyls that was that's uh, hanging from the first floor. Was this one from a living world? Yeah, it was. Yeah, this was one of the creatures that's a living world, which is a an exhibit inside of the St. Louis Zoo. And I did not realize that he that Bob had made all of those <laughs> until I had been working at the museum for a little while. But I thought that was pretty awesome. And then we ended up getting it back when they were remodeling, I think. They asked sure. if we wanted it back. And we're like, absolutely. Why wouldn't you want to just hang a pterodactyl from the ceiling? These I pulled. It's a photo. I think a lot of people have seen the organ that's in the, in the caves. But... This is another shot of it. This one's um, from above, down in some of the the pipes, the tubes. That are these on a normal organs? Yep. Are those on every organ? No. Uh, you mean the pipe organ? Uh huh. That's the the like organ for the pipe. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, the it's part. the this is the brass part. I think the ones that you can see more easily are probably all the the wooden ones that go up the up the wall, but. This is another view of them. Oh, and you should definitely check out a CJ's been DJ pipe organ or whatever he's going by now. He uh, works at City Museum and he's been doing a lot of uh, taking requests on Fridays for the for the organ. So keep an eye out for that. I know they just did it today, so they'll they'll be announcing when the next one will will happen next live stream. I this was uh they were doing an exhibit with the fire trucks with some antique fire trucks we do have a fire truck that's out in front on monstro that that uh people can climb on part of one uh i guess they were doing an exhibit and then we have uh i 
don't know whose truck this is. Mm-hmm. I can make some guesses, yeah, but I think it's Bobby. It's probably Bobby's, one of the uh, former crew members. But there are numerous photos of this on the hard drive. So if anybody uh, anybody knows who that whose it is, let me know in the comments, and I'll uh, I'll make note of that when I'm cataloging these. But the flames coming out of the, the the bed of the truck are pretty fantastic. And this is just, I really loved this photo. It's just a mountain of rebar and other materials. Yeah, we had to go get all the rebar from that. Yeah. And then <laughs> it's what made the, the what we kind of dubbed the uh, beanstalk, which is the next one of the next photos you have. Uh, oh, yeah? Maybe it was the one before. Oh, the one above? Here. Oh, that guy? Mm-hmm. Nice. All right, so that giant mountain of rebar uh, they ended up using for this part. We picked not, choice pieces. Not the, yeah, not all of it. <laughs> not that you can see where I'm pointing right now. But, uh, yeah, if you see the part coming up from the middle... Uh, the middle fire, fire tra- engine. So we'll... Get back through there. All came from this guy, so they had to go pick through that. And then this last one, this is a hippo. Uh, Bob made several hippos. The This one was, when this photo was taken, it was on the corner of Washington and 15th Street um, on the building where the last hotel is currently. And uh, as far, Naxa is still up there. They've just had to move it because they had, when they bought the building. Um, but I really like, I really always like this photo. Yeah? That's not pointing with your cursor, huh? Uh-uh. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to see if I can get a pointer where I'm showing things rather than me just describing them with my hands to no one. Um, but yeah, so he did several uh, hippos. He have he has a lot of sculptures up in New York, uh, Hippo Park. They recently recast them. Um, because they were degrading with time, so they ended up giving those back to us, and we've got a bunch of them in the museum that are waiting to be placed in their permanent homes. But this one's about uh, ten stories up in the, in the sky. All right, so I think that's the end of the slideshow. I'm gonna try to cut back to me. Hi. Oh, so. Last but not least, we have uh, I have a video that should start up right away. Um, we've been going through uh, VHS tapes, and Max has been digitizing them. There's one; it's about an hour long, so we're not going to show the whole thing. We're going to kind of show clips as we go on through through these coming weeks. Um, so yeah, then this one that we're showing today, I believe, is of the bus, and it's a of the bus getting taken up onto the rooftop. So a lot of people ask about that, and this is a video of it happening. How did you get a bus on the roof, Maria? We'll find out, Max. (laughs) All right, let's see what happens.
Hello. Yeah? Okay, good. We're working out transitions here. Uh, so yeah, that's how you get the bus on the roof. And thank you to Steve Castley for providing that footage. He's uh, Bob's brother who... I had the VHS, but then he... Uh... Yeah, then he had the... Fe- that's right, he's been doing all that. So he had the file uh, yeah, and then Steve on like, a flash hey, drive. We're like, hey, even better. I was just about to open up that. It said, uh, City Museum, one hour. We're like, oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... We hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, we've got another show. He wandered off. We've uh, Max has a show coming up at 7 tonight. He's going to show uh, some projection mapping. Will, <laughs> you were going to say what's happening in your show tonight at 7. Oh, yeah. I don't know. What's happening at my show? <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I, I I think down. I think I was thinking about I was thinking about um, making uh, some projection some visualization stuff happen in a three D realm like like the, like you know depth like so check back at seven and we'll see what happens um, <laughs> and yeah well we appreciate yeah again we appreciate you all for watching as uh, we love showing things about the museum. Um, we're, what are you doing? Okay. Oh, we're saying goodbye? If you want to check out uh, any of our other, uh, any of the other content, we've got uh, Arts and Crafts with Angela. Nancy's been doing some great stuff. So is CJ. Uh, check on our website. The links are in the description of the videos. And we will see you guys at 7. And, yeah, have a wonderful day. Oh, I think we're going to have an interview, too. Sure. Special interview. Maybe two. Why not? All right. Bye. Bye.